Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always, thanks for watching. So my friends, update number two on the H1 project, which is the Hummer H1 body shell from HG, which this goes on the P415, which is their civilian version. They have two different models of the Hummer. They have the military Humvee, which is the P408, and then they have the civilian version, which is the P415. <laughs> Try to remember all that. But uh, yeah, so, I really like the civilian version, the Hummer H1, more than I like the military style. Don't get me wrong, the military style was pretty awesome and everything, but I just, I'm a sucker for the H1. Uh, I just like, you know, I just like that one. Uh, so I ended up getting that body shell. Now in my last video, I did a tear down, disassembling the whole body to get it ready for painting because I talked about that I wanted to paint the vehicle uh, a totally different color, something that not a lot of people tend to go with. And uh, so I decided to do this right here, this color, which is a gloss navy blue and it turned out fantastic. Now we did have a little bit of hiccups. Uh, we got out there Sunday afternoon, well Sunday midday, We, uh, me and dad sprayed it and uh, everything looked to be alright and everything. So we, uh, we let it sit there for a few hours dry and then later on the afternoon we took it in and we found that the hood had a little bit of a dry spot and a little bit of portion on the uh, back roof there. So we decided to uh, go out and reshoot it again. Now we did this kind of like late in the afternoon and I really don't like sh you know spray painting late in the afternoon because the little flying insects, those little gnats and uh, mosquitoes and stuff, they are, are like attracted to fresh paint in the afternoon there. Um, so we thought, hey, five minutes, real quick job just to spray it over, uh, you know, reshoot and all that. And uh, when we did, we had a little bit of chemical reaction happen to the hood and partly uh, the roof there. So no biggie there. You know, with a hard shell body, it's pretty easy to take care of that. You can just uh, clean it off and uh, reshoot it. And that's what, what, what we did actually. It took a few hours to do it, uh, to get all that paint off of there and then uh, prep it and then reshoot it again. And uh, it came out beautiful. Dad did a great job at painting the vehicle. I part I painted parts of it and dad finished it up. He is a very good uh, person when it comes to painting or spray painting. Uh, my dad's been a painter for 20, 25, 30 years he's done painting. So he knows how to uh, really uh, paint and lay down spray paint very, very well. So let me show you guys the body. So like I said, this is in a gloss navy blue and it turned out wonderful. I mean, look at this. Look how shiny it is. That's almost like shiny as the, uh, the stock way it looked when it came in with that gloss black. But it looks freaking amazing. <laughs> uh, everything. Now, I did paint the back windows there. Uh, just because the point, reason why I did that actually is because this is where... Hang on. <laughs> This is where the battery goes at, and there's no really cover to hide the battery, so it's like, all right, if I'm gonna put the battery here in the back, why not paint the back windows black there? So that way it kind of hides it a little bit, but uh, everything else I left clear, the back doors, the front doors. I actually took the windows out of this right here, out of the front windows, or the front two doors there. I took the windows out. Uh, that way when I put the action figures in there, you can actually see and you can look inside and all that good stuff. Um, but I did get the body back together and a crazy part of this is that it took me about four and a half hours to disassemble the whole body. It only took me about two, two and a half hours to reassemble it because I, you know, as I took it apart, I kind of laid out everywhere, you know, everything like where it's supposed to go. So it definitely helped me out on that and I uh, got it back together. No issues on that. Didn't scar me any pain or anything like that. Now I did get the body like two to three days to actually fully cure and harden up and everything um, <clears throat> but yeah and uh, so as I excuse me <laughs> as I started putting it back together I started going ahead and just uh, touching up on a few things um, that I wanted to do to the vehicle to kind of offset the blue a little bit so uh, a lot of things I kept kind of like in the stock color the, the gloss black like uh, 
part of the hood there, um, the lights, well, the snorkeler, the mirrors, uh, underneath is still the gloss black, and uh, the door handles as well. Now I did that just to, you know, like I said, to break down the color a little bit so it's not all navy blue. Uh, have a little bit of a breakdown there, so that's the reason why I did that. Interior, I did not do anything with the interior. I left that alone. Uh, it looks extremely awesome like that, so I'm fairly happy with it. Um, another thing that I did was I started trimming out some things. I took some black rubber tubing I had and put on the... Uh, the lips of the fenders there and that's just another thing just a you know really just an appearance thing it kind of uh you know makes the vehicle look a lot a lot better actually uh, instead of just being plain jane but uh that is the body right there my friends and like i said dad did a great job it looks amazing i can't wait to get this thing out of there out there on the trails and stuff now also why I had the body shell off, I decided to go ahead and reshoot the chassis a little bit, you know, repaint it, uh, because after about a year and a half time of running it, I wanted to uh, touch up on that rust and stuff like that from because the factory screws are just, you know, they're factory screws. They will start rusting and stuff like that. So I, you know, since I was gonna have a totally new body shell with a totally new paint job, why not have the chassis and a fully new paint job. So uh, I did this in a satin black, which is basically like the stock color that the chassis came in and uh, just looks a lot better. And uh, so yeah, so I've done that. Uh, another thing that I did why I had this chassis, <laughs> why I had the body off of the chassis there was I put in, I put back the stop motor in there. Uh, when I initially did my first upgrade to this vehicle added a new ESC servo uh, receiver and uh, a new motor and the motor I choose to go with or chose to go with was a RC4 drive 55 turn motor uh, those are very powerful torquey motors uh, it did great in this truck in low gear it did great but when you switch it in high gear it would go but when you start to kind of like crawl over stuff it would uh, kind of like hesitate or just stop dead in its track. So I don't know what was going on with that. Maybe the gear ratio would just wasn't there. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, so I decided to go ahead and put the stop motor back in there. Now, the thing I did with the RC four drive motor, the spur gear, no, with the pinion gear, is a very odd kind of shape pinion gear. And uh, I had to jam it onto the 55 turn motor there. And when I tried to pull it off, I could not get it off. I actually damaged a perfectly good motor trying to get it off. And uh, so I just went ahead and ordered a, another motor uh, for it uh, that already had the spur gear on it and all that good stuff. And uh, so yeah, so that's what I did. So now I am not fully done with this project. I still got a little bit of things I need to do to it. Uh, trimming out the body a little bit more. Uh, I'm not going to put any, I don't think I really put any stickers on there other than what maybe came with the body. Um, I don't think I'm going to go sticker it out or anything. That's just not me. I don't like to do tons of stickers on my RCs. I just don't do that. Um, so, but I do have a new set of wheels that I'm going to be putting on the Hummer too. Uh, cause I was like, yeah, all right, new body, new paint new painted chassis, why not have a new set of wheels? Now, as far as tires, I'm gonna keep the stock tires that came on the vehicle, which are not bad tires at all, but I do definitely wanna change up the wheels or the rims, you wanna say, and uh, put something on there that's gonna make it a little bit more flashier. And uh, some of y'all have probably already seen a, uh, a preview of what that looks like if you uh, watch some of the uh, RC talk shows that I'm on. Uh, Tuesday and Thursdays and sometimes on Fridays and Saturdays you'll see uh, kind of like little bits of that on there so but yeah so I still got a long ways to go before I even this vehicle even sees the trails right now uh, I still have a part that is on its way I just don't know exactly when I got a notification uh, like three days before Christmas that 
Uh, my item has been is being held for 19 days due to shipping or COVID activities. So whenever that part comes in, it'll come in. You know, no no biggie on that. It's just uh, the bumper cover for the back there. But uh, other than that, yeah. So uh, so yeah. So the project is turning out great, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing this. It's uh, definitely a lot of fun, especially you know tearing down this vehicle and getting to actually learn all that's on this vehicle and you know with the body and stuff like that. So I definitely am uh, liking it very much. So uh, yeah, and I hope that you guys are enjoying this uh, this little build series here on the channel. So I hope you are appreciate you know, <laughs> hope you are enjoying that. All right, my friends. So uh, in the next video, I'll be doing the putting the rims on and uh, doing my final touches and stuff. And we should be ready to roll here very, very soon. Hopefully, we'll see. All right, my friends. So thank you again for watching. Please smash that thumbs like button. Comment down below if you got any questions, concerns, anything like that. And also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, help me grow my channel. Uh, every time that you subscribe, you're not just a subscriber, you're a supporter, you're supporting what I do, and I really do appreciate that, my friends, all right? So, with that being said, thank you again, and I will see y'all in the next update of the H1 Bill Project. Thanks for watching.